Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Tubbs and Castillo work undercover to bust drug dealers moving in on Native American land in the episode Indian Wars. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from February 22nd to February 28th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 24th, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Hustler magazine in a suit brought by televangelist Jerry Falwell. Based on a parody ad in Hustler magazine in 1983, Falwell sued Larry Flint for libel and emotional distress. Lower courts cleared Flint of libel, and in 1988, the Supreme Court ruled 8-0 to zero that the ad was protected under the First Amendment. In music, the king of the 80s is back on the Hot 100 becoming a sixth number one song, and the album's fourth single is George Michael's classic Father Figure. From the album Faith, the song spends two weeks at number one and 14 weeks in the top 40. Father Figure was an immediate success and is still one of George Michael's best. In movies, we're still in the archives as Good Morning Vietnam rules the box office, but it doesn't matter. This is the film I've been waiting for, and, in my opinion, is in the top 10 best action movies of the decade. Starring the greatest action movie star in the history of the world is Jean-Claude Van Damme and the movie Bloodsport. Unofficially based on the unsubstantiated claims of Frank Dukes, the film centers around JCVD as he competes in the Kumite. With JCVD, Bolo Young, and the music performances of Stan Bush, it's got everything. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.